fancy seeing you here in this quarantine time. I don't know if you knew this, but when I was a child, I was really edgy. And I know a lot of kids go through edgy phases where they like listen to My Chemical Romance and do like thick eyeliner or whatever. I wasn't, I was a whole nother level. I found this like word document called villains.docs, which is like a, like a monologue that I wrote like a true, like a me writing a monologue about my own thoughts uh, years ago, maybe when I was like 11 or something. Uh, and it's genuinely one of the worst things I've ever read in my life. So I'm going to be reading that today. I do all this without my dear friend, Mr. Oswald Cobblepot. <laughs> I'm going insane in quarantine. How do I get him to just chill in the background? That's my question. Oh, no, okay, no, I, I wouldn't mind this for now. Yeah, he's he's folded, but he's fine. The font, colours, everything about it makes me want to die. And I have, uh, a few years ago, I remember coming across it and deleting a whole paragraph about, like, wanting an arch nemesis. So just keep that in mind that this is the censored version. <laughs> there could be worse, okay? Villains. When I was little, the teachers would ask us what we wanted to be when we were older. The girls would say things like princesses, pr sorry, princesses, fairies, and even for the really imaginative, a fairy princess. And even the ones who didn't want to be stereotypical said something like cool warrior princess. The boys, on the other hand, said things like princes and kings and all the rest of that rubbish. I, however... I, however... Didn't think it was strange at the time to say an evil queen. I... D I... Die. Wait, uh, wait, this isn't quite right. Alright, where were we? That's better. But not the type that you hear about in fairy tales. Not the ones who get killed, turn good, or go to jail or whatever. No, I wanted to be the villain who won. I figured out a way to fix my coat so it fits like a cloak with a hood. I <laughs> bought a little clip on devil horns, that's true. I looked forward to my favourite day of every year. Dot dot dot. Halloween. <laughs> every Halloween I had a different costume. Embracing the darkness within. However, some of the measly peasants dressed up as princesses and superheroes. How <laughs> how dare they defile the darkest day of the year with their dot 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 justice. A few actually wait no, this isn't this isn't this still isn't right. Let me give me a sec. Alright then. A few years later they'd ask again and again. And while everyone else said more realistic things, like doctors, nurses, vets, firemen, and even a few more obscure ones like hotel managers and all sorts, I'd still persist to say things like evil witch and vampire queen, and even alien overlord once or twice. It's awful. Other children's heroes were always fairy tale heroes or some amazing historical people, always the familiar suspects, whereas mine were basically all Disney villains. I wanted it all. The evil laugh, the loud clashing lightning bolts flashing frantically behind me. God, the alliteration. The idiotic henchman, the dramatic sad backstory reveal, the evil lair, especially the evil lair. That was something I definitely wanted. I put that in brackets just to like amplify that I really did want an evil lair. The cat to stroke while I turned around dramatically and utter the words, I've been expecting you. Okay, bomb villain. One. I hadn't perfected my master plan for world domination. Two, I hadn't perfected my magical powers. In brackets, most villains have them, and since I'm destined to be the greatest and cruelest villain of them all, I must have them, dot dot dot, somewhere. Three, I could hardly reveal what I've been planning just yet, so I dreamed and daydreamed. At first, I thought that maybe my area of skills and expertise was in the mind control area. I tested this theory by trying as hard as I could to control and manipulate people to my will. Alas, no luck. So I tried all sorts. Cursing, teleportation, hypnotising, flying, fire manipulation, ice control, the whole lot. 
The most successful out of these was probably curses. I tried cursing a pencil. I used all my might and belief in this one pencil. I wanted it to work so badly. I lent it to this puny mortal in my class. And you may not believe it, but it actually worked. He hurt his leg playing football a little while later. How unfathomably wicked is that? What was I... Oh yeah, talking about my edgy villain phase, that's definitely over I haven't experienced in ages. Right, what was I doing? With all my best efforts to be malevolent and extremely good, dot dot dot, at being bad, it didn't always turn out so well. Every time a spell fails, it's just another disappointment I can add to the list. Usually, it ends with some petty, honourable do-gooders making fun of me. It's pathetic. It's a pity there will no longer be this type of people in the world when I rule and finally kill them all. Well, I'm glad that phase is over, so I don't have to deal with any more of that goddamn edginess. Anyway. <laughs>